Hi, I'm Gordon Waite. I'm getting ready to do polishing on the 22 inch mirrors for the Binoscope project. And uh, I made up a bunch of pitch polishers. I poured them uh, last night and it's time to facet them, get them ready for operation. Uh, this is the first one that I'm going to cut. And uh, this is done on a 5 inch substrate. And this substrate is dental plaster. And this one has a bronze bushing in the center to adapt it to my machine. And the uh, issue with this polisher, the first thing you have to do is get rid of the overhang. You can see there's like overhanging pitch on the edge there. Uh, to cut pitch laps, I just do it by hand. I use a brand new single edge razor blade for every project, every different pitch polisher. Uh, first thing I do is get rid of that overhang. So I just kind of put the lap on its side and use like a slicing motion. Just go all the way around. The pitch crumbles off pretty easily. Uh, these particular polishers were all made with uh, number 64 pitch and they have just a slight bit of 55 in them to soften them up just slightly. Uh, I mold these on to the face of the, of the mirror so that the curve is right to begin with. And so it's just a matter of uh, faceting with razor blade and uh, slight press, a little cold press, and they're pretty much ready to go. So there, I've uh, gone around the polisher now. You can see it's uh, no longer has an overhang. And let's move some of the pitch chips to one side here. For the actual faceting, this is going to be a figuring lap. And I'll use this mostly for handwork, even though it, it's ready for the machine. So I'm going to cut the facets in here and then take some of the facets out of the edge or, or change the shape of the edge so I have less surface area in the outside than I do in the inside. So first I just kind of cut some standard channels in it. Uh, I, I usually mark it first by using the razor blade pointing inward and then pointing outward to lay in the channels. So I just cut that way and score through the surface. Cut that way and score the surface. Now on my pitch polishers I never worry about them being regular or perfect in any way. So there, I've now laid uh, a grid pattern on there and broken through the first layer of pitch. And now you basically just go over it again and this time put a little pressure on it and dig in a little bit and deepen out those. channels to uh, make facets here. So I just did down the right side, I hold the razor blade at about a 45 degree angle with some uh, tilt to it. And go down the other side here. And now you can see I have these two channels cut. Flip it 90 degrees and do the others. Watch when you go through the break uh, that if you're going to get chip out, that's the place it comes normally. Uh, really though, chip out, a lot of people are all scared of getting chip out and it's almost unavoidable there came a chip out. Uh, but the reality is that the chips really don't make much difference in a pitch polisher. Ugly pitches, no problem. And when you're making optics, time is money, so Better to be fast than to be perfect. Okay, now I've got the basic uh, facets put in place. But as I said, this is going to be a figuring lap. So I want to get rid of these corner pieces. So basically I just take those right out, just cut them right out. Now I always put newspapers down, the pitch goes everywhere. But the point of the newspapers is that I can then collect up the pitch, put it back in the pitch pot, and use it again. I recycle the pitch over and over and over again, uh, as many times as you like. Uh, basically, I put a little bit of uh, mineral oil or something like that in to put some of the volatiles back in the pitch when it's heated up. But the pitch is kind of infinitely reusable. Ok, 
Okay, now you can see the pattern I've got now is I'm kind of down to five facets there with one in the center. But I, I need to remove even more surface area out here on the outside. So I'm going to take the edges, the corners off those facets. And I can see this polisher is kind of star shaped now. It's got big chunks missing here. And uh, I usually like to clean it up a little bit, so I, I run the razor blade over the flat area like this. Cleans my surface a little bit. And then I like to micro facet the, the polisher with the razor blade. And to do that, I just cut some little tiny channels across it. And basically, I'm just scratching through the surface with the razor blade. I'm not going very deep here at all, uh, way less than a millimeter deep, really. And just putting some scratches in. And I rotate it 90 degrees and put another set in. And it doesn't matter, again, the spacing on these or anything, just as long as there's some depth to them. So now I've got a pretty well done polisher there. And the last step, I have my old beat up brass brush. And I take and brush the surface of this polisher. And you want to brush until all of the shininess is gone. You get down to a dull pitch surface. And I do that before every session that I use this polisher on. So basically there's the polisher. Before I actually use this on the mirror, I'll of course wash it with water, running water, and do a quick cold press. But uh, basically that's how we make a pitch polisher.